Hello everybody, Bo Jess here, and welcome back to Amnesia. <laughs> oh, I'm so goofy. I'm always doing the audio all weird and I don't know. Doing weird shit. Okay, where was I? Um oh yeah, in the last episode we had to figure out how to make that spinning deal stop by throwing the pipe in it. And then after getting in there, uh, we made it down into the water hole down here. Where am I going? Um, and there is a monster down here in which we have to distract him in order to make it further. So... Am I going the wrong way? I do believe so. Yes, I had to stop that thing over there. Yeah, okay, going the wrong way. What was in... I don't remember coming up here. I really don't. That's right. Okay, I remember now. And then the monster tore this down. Okay, gotcha. All caught up. It's been a few days since I've played this. It really has. It's been like... Oh, a few days. I don't I don't actually know how long it's been. Three, four days? Let's see if that worked. Did he go? Oh shit, he did. Oh the distraction. Tis worked. That is not the right way. Oh god, I'm getting dizzy. Is it right there or something? Am I missing something? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I think it was right in front of me and I didn't see it. Oh my gosh. Oh shit. Run! Up the stairs, up the ladder, not the stairs! Oh! <clears throat> that is totally a throwback from Soma. <laughs> in the third episode, I'm going up a ladder like this, and I'm like, UP THE STAIRS! UP THE STAIRS! CLIMB! <laughs> Freaking out. <laughs> oh, that's a funny episode. It really is. If you have not seen it, please go watch it. It's awesome. There's never any escape. Things like this live with you always. How could he know if Henry would show up down the road or even at his house? Is he that mad? Would he do that? I think I totally read that wrong. Or at least some of it. Oh my gosh. It won't budge. But that one did. That one's got blood. I don't want to go down. Ah, this one's got blood too. I don't want to go this way either. Ouch, I hit myself in the face with the... Oh, I don't want to go that way either. Um, I don't want to go this way either. Ow! Oh uh, yeah, so I don't want to go any of these ways. Um, I'll go this way first. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, there's rocks. There's rocks in here. There's a lever. Pull the lever! There's two levers and a note. We'll read the note. Of August 1839. I can't stop sweating and shaking. The warding ritual was not something of a sane mind. I did not even realize the dungeon was still in use. Alexander had his servants bring one of the prisoners, a murderer, he told me. Alexander made all the arrangements, but he said I had to perform the ritual in order to have the right effect. The shadow could be led astray by the blood of another. Killing the man would provide us precious time. What else could I do? Alexander said it had to be done. He is saving my life. I don't have the luxury of argument. Tell him no. Don't believe his baloney. It's not working. Something must be wrong with the machine. I, again, I gotta wait. See, I don't need any. Oh, I'll take it away. Oh, good, it's full now. Yay! I haven't really been using it. I'm noticing that for me, this game is easier just to leave everything dark and slowly lose my sanity. I don't know. Maybe I'm just paranoid about using my um. 
slop. What do you call that? Oil slop. Can that be moved? No. No, you can't move that one. Ooh. Oh, good. Oh. I have 40 of those? Jeez, I need to use them. Wow, what's down this? Oh, this must be the way to uh, where I performed the, um, that ritual. Don't lose your sanity. <laughs> Calm down. It'll be fine. You know, Daniel, it, it's not that scary. You, you are okay. You're fine. Oh, there's a Tinder. Come here, Tinder. As if I don't have enough Tinder boxes. Um. Um. Yeah. Why do games have to have like 10 different. Like every game has a different set of controls practically. Well, I'm losing my sanity in here. Okay, the Tinder box has. Hang go. I've been playing a lot of the Resident Evil demo. I don't know, it's fun trying to see if you can get different endings and do different things and what happens if you do certain things. Agrippa, I need you to stay awake. Can you feel the syringe? No. I can't feel anything. Alexander? Yes. Soon I won't even be able to move, will I? Your life is safe. I don't doubt that. But will it be worth living? smart. Okay. Now we'll light it. I got a shovel! We'll take the shovel with us. That's me in. Um. Uh. Oh, here we go. Oh, the shovel's in the way. Get out of the way, shovel. That was my fault, though. What is this? Oh, there's a dead guy down there. Do you think he's dead? No! Oh my gosh, he's out. Ow. Pull the switch. Oh, that's that... the... the... the guy. Let's pull the switch. I don't know. I don't want to. You have my gratitude. You're welcome. My name is Agrippa. Uh, Daniel. Like a prophet thrown into the lion's den. Yeah, that guy. Tell me, are you among the lions, Daniel? Yes. You want to stop Alexander? Kinda. Oh my. So Babylon shall fall, you say. <laughs> you hurry too much. Alexander is toothless without a hall. Yes. That's that's not very promising at all. The sector is basically impenetrable. But I guess that why not? It could be reached by another. But Alexander broke his I mean my own. A long time ago. Really? Then if you tell the truth by all means, seek out the pieces of the broken horn and mend the way. I believe he uses them for torture now. They practically lead man, which is quite useful, I understand. There should be six of them. Look around the fire and the transom. You should be able to find them there. Okay. Thanks. You know, I just realized something. I had my microphone. I had to bother you first, but yes. Really going after Alexander? Would you consider taking me with you? Sure. I know it sounds ridiculous. I mean, look at But if you find anything concerning a man named Johann Heim, would you please bring it to me? I believe he was working on a way to help them. A recipe for some sort of potion. A tonic to free me from this husk of mine. Yeah. But yeah, anyway. Apologies about that little bit right there. The... Oh, jeez. 
Jeez. So many of Alexander's things are breaking down. Look around. Maybe the other room. There are machine parts hidden all over this place. You'll find a way to fix it. Anyway, I had the wrong setting on my, um, on my microphone. I had to fix that. Oh, boy. Um, alright, I'll look around. And I'll be able- wait. Hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, um. Because I, I changed my microphone's, uh, setting to... Because Robert's so darn quiet in our nights with Robert. He's just a quiet person. Um, I had to set our microphone to a different setting. Oh, let's go this way. This way looks scary. Let's go this way. Oh, my, um, I, uh, I got, I got a uh, few cuts and bruises. Uh, sure, well, yeah, all's good. Slight headache, sure. I'm good with that. Um, what was I saying? Gosh dang it. Um, I was saying something. Anyway, um, I, I don't know. Slide it up, I guess. Um, but anyway, yay, kid crying again. Um, that in the game. <laughs> I'm like, in the game. Got to make that clear. Uh,. I keep losing my train of thought. I really do. I don't know why I bother. I don't. The brain does not work. It does not function correctly. It does not function like a correctly functioning brain should function. Um. Oh yeah, the microphone. I was talking about the microphone. Um. I don't know what I've already said about the microphone though. Oh well. Anyway, so I set the microphone to pick up all around the microphone, I guess instead of the commentary because I don't know it's it's really hard to pick up Robert he's so freaking quiet I'm like hey dude talk louder into the microphone get closer to the microphone something <laughs> eh that's okay sorry Robert I ragged you out <laughs> hey what's this guess I'm getting hungry Sure, I'll light that one. I got like 458 of these. I might as well light random ones. This game has such weird noises. Ooh. I know this. I've been here already. I know this taste. A taste of Damascus Rose obfuscating the truth in the dim haze. They may sweep the traces from my memory, but my body remembers these cuts and volumes, even though my mind remains silent. They will be back. Oh, they will be back. Is that Daniel talking? It didn't sound like him. It sounded like somebody else. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Oh, get out of the way, door. There is a Tinder. It's a weird game. Just saying. What? You okay, dude? There, there's a little puff of smoke. Scared the hell out of you, or what? I'm confused. Is I up here? Oh, okay. I went up and around and around and around. Gotcha. Okay. Is this the door I came through, though? think so. I'm pretty sure. So wait, have I been- no. Oh gosh. Okay, that's a prison cell. This one- eh, squeeze through. This one, I believe, yeah, these are all prison cells, I do believe. Put that away. The fear had begun to drown him again. He reached once more for the empty bottle of whatever that wood is. In frustration, he smashed. You know, you could give me a few seconds to read that at least. Come on. No, I'll never know what it says. Hello. Oh, 
heard the monster. Is he here? Wow. I'm gonna close the door. That's a bad idea, because the monster's probably in here. It won't budge. Wow. This place looks awesome. Just a little further. It's like Orpheus descending into the underworld. Are you hiding something? What do you mean? Never mind. Your intuition is remarkable. I'm not sure I'm following. It doesn't matter. It's just a myth after all. What's that purple thing over there? There was a purple thing down there. Yeah, we'll go down that way then. Might as well. This looks awesome. Man, I really hope that um, Call of Cthulhu game gets finished. They're supposed to be making... Um, Oh, there's something purple in there. Supposed to be making a uh, new Call of Cthulhu game. Whoa. That looks like time machine or something. So if I walk in there, do I get killed? I don't I don't wanna die. You can you can touch it. I, I don't think I should touch it. I, I, I don't think I should. Okay, so that's probably where I need to put the orb. Yeah, I'm not gonna touch that. If I get lost, I'll be like, hey, let me touch it. And I'll be like, Zzz, uh. <laughs> Oh my god, run, dude. I wonder how close to this, um, the end of this game I am. I feel like I'm getting close. Oh, <laughs> that thing over there scared me. I was like, what is it? Hey, can I take his head? Oh, I can't take his head. Um, I really need to read that. I'll read it some other time, though. Oh, you know what? I should read it. Okay. I should have edited some of that out of me reading the uh, the note. These are kind of cool. <laughs> How rude! Actually, this is a really cool room. It's neat. Ah, uh, but yeah, that reading thing was just about the orb and that it shattered into six pieces. And that's what I'm looking for. Look, blood. Blood. This must be where I have to kill somebody. That must be where I killed somebody, actually. Ah, oh, I should have closed my curtain before I started um, recording. Because my curtains are open, and every time someone drives by, I'm like, What is that? Help her. Find a way. Oh, yeah, and something about, uh, in that note I read, something about, will I ever, or something about his love, I don't know. So, I think he's got a girlfriend or something that he's trying to save, maybe. I don't know. I've I, uh, been following the story, but I've gotten a little lost. The story gets a little confusing towards the end here. 12th of August, 1839. Banishment ritual is taking longer than expected, and we have to do what is needed. I spend my time helping out the prisoners. Being around these degenerates makes me ill. None of them even tries to face their punishment with any kind of dignity. They taunt me with their lies of innocence and their cowardly pleas of mercy. What can make a man fall so far from the grace of a civilized existence? They are all wicked men, and I remind myself of it constantly. Still, I am thankful for God sending these monsters our way, as they will serve as the instruments of my salvation. 
I try to study the different tools in the torture chamber and learn how to use them effectively. Last time was messy and the effect suffered from my inexperience. When the next warding is to be performed, I shall be ready. Oh, yeah. Um, these people are probably innocent, dear. Just saying. After some of the notes. Come on! Um, after some of the notes that I've read uh, about uh, Willem kidnapping people, bringing them to Alexander, and I'm assuming Alexander would throw them in the prisons down here and lie to Daniel and be like, oh, they're just bad people, they're murderers. And they're really not. So I am getting some aspects of the story. It won't budge. Um, I've been picking stuff up. I have to find a key or something, probably. You know what? Have I wrote notes? Those usually help me. Okay, that can fit the orb. Heavy door blocking path. I don't remember where the... Okay, the dying man sinks a note. Sinks. He sinks. Uh, okay, orb is needed to enter inner sanctum. Okay, two layers on the top floor are not working. Okay, same problem with the machine. Okie dokie. Then I've got meat, which I'm worried about what I'm going to use that for. And a bucket of tar. Hey, can those come off the wall? No, they cannot. So if I'm really... I really do like this game. It has a very, um... HP Lovecraft feel to it, which... Uh, makes it really fun, because I like a lot of... Sorry, dude. I mean, you've done bad, too. What was it? Oh, boy. Lost was a saying again. Oh, well. I'll watch it back in editing and go, Oh, yeah! That's what I was saying! Duh! It happens every time. <laughs> oh, well. Carefully cutting the man open made me, him, think... This is how father must feel about his craft, being in all... Nah. Artesian? No. No, that's so wrong. Uh, Artistian. Oh, forget it. These cells are meant to hold prisoners who are under treatment. The people you send for will end up here. Remember that the confinement itself works as a preamble to the torture. And you should pace yourself. Don't take anyone before they are ready. Understood. Sounds from the torture chambers are shuttled in through those pipes in the ceiling. Manage your victims well and let one prisoner's pain instill terror in his cellmate. Yeah, because you're a really nice guy. Who, me? I'm Heinrich Cornelius Agrippi. I was once quite important to you. Baron Alexander has sustained my soul in this dead house for years. Who knows how many? Hundreds, I presume. Hmm. Well, I'll figure out how to get you out of there as soon as I can, dude. Alexander is quite impressive in many ways, but he has grown impatient. Okay. <laughs> oh. Wait, oh my gosh, I can't. By me? I'm the next best thing. Alexander really might have none of this than Johann Meyer. You've never heard of Johann Meyer? My god, boy. He's probably the greatest man in history. And you don't know him? Or is it the world who has forgotten him? I'll Google him later. I can, you know? I mean, if it means that much to you. That's what's like... <gasps> They put the shovel back! Did you see that? <laughs> I don't know what's scary. The fact. something else. I was my pupil. My pupil. Yes, I do take pride in that. Is it so wrong? Yes, it is. It is totally wrong. You should never take pride in stuff, you know? 
I found the Mithraia plants, land which had not been planted. Do you know Mithraia is? Well, I suppose it doesn't matter. It is an old faith, building temples out of caverns. The Dark Gods being the universe, and inside are its followers. Humans watching the sky slowly turn. But the followers do have one thing to rouse a real sense of connection. Creation. The orbs. Okay. Could you stop talking now? Ow. Okay. Huh. I wrote the note. What does the note say? Ouch. No. It says it blocks the path to the barrier. Okay. Nah, thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, I've spent probably a good 25, 30 minutes just running around, looking for anything that will help. So, the episode right now is running at about 40 minutes. After editing, I'm not sure how long it's going to be. It's probably going to be like 15 to 20 minutes. Might be 25 minutes. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to end here. And try to figure this out in the next episode. So if this is a short episode, apologies. If it's a long episode, also apologies. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Night night.